united with Christ. Meet local churches with open doors serving throughout the Border Valley community and sharing the truth and hope of God's love and salvation. A presentation of Life Christian Broadcasting Television. And now, United with Christ. Well, good morning again. It's my pleasure to be with you, audience, as we continue with our topic about the importance of a Christian worldview, the importance of Christian education. And it's been my pleasure for these past, um, well, almost uh, six, seven weeks to be able to invite some guests, uh, particularly from our Christian school, um, Emmanuel Christian School. So we've had uh, our head of school, our athletic director, parents, um, alumni, um, uh, ex-students, of course. But today there's two special guests that I will introduce shortly, but we thank you for being part of our programming today in United with Christ. Um, and thank you for the station for the 35 years that they've been in ministry here in our community. So let me get started. And I have with us Isela Munoz, who has had uh, two boys already in, in our school. One of them is also a, a graduate that will um, be going on to college. And she's also the president of our booster club. So we will talk a little bit further about that. And then to my left is Vanessa Quinones, who is our admissions director. So every day, she, almost every day, for the, for the past couple of weeks, um, families go and visit the school, and she gives them a tour of our program, of, uh, of the facility. Yes, now you know you. what to expect. Yes. <laughs> Did you get nervous on on Saturday when you were up there? Yes. Really? See? You know, you know. My thing is, I should have just when I speak from my heart. Yeah. And and I, I I do better. Exactly. And and that's what I was asking you the Lord. I have my notes here, you, but kind of what I want to say. But it. usually when I when I especially when it comes to talking about the school, I'm not gonna lie. I, if I speak from my heart, it goes better. <laughs> Same thing. I mean, of course, Just I have honesty. to have notes on the pre. Of United with Christ. Meet local churches with open doors, serving throughout the Border Valley community and sharing the truth and hope of God's love and salvation. A presentation of Life Christian Broadcasting Television. And now, United with Christ. Good morning, dear audience. Welcome to our weekly programming of United with Christ where I've had the pleasure for the past seven weeks to be able to discuss the topic about Christian worldview and specifically about Christian education. Um, of course, we've been talking about our particular uh, ministry and our school, Emmanuel Christian School, that has been um, in existence now for 53 years, and it goes from K2 all the way to 12th grade. And it's been a pleasure, but also we've been talking about the importance of us as parents educating our children in the ways of the Lord. It starts at home. And of course, we have spoken about the different issues that we are seeing out there. And of course, we don't bash public schools, but we're just saying that parents, sometimes what we see in the news is that they don't have control over what is taught anymore in public schools. And that's why we see an increase in not only in our school that, that is coming up for next year, but in different schools. But today I have two special guests, as I've had in the past, everything from administration to academics uh, to sports um, and so forth and parents. And today I have two special <coughs> guests. One is 
Isela Munoz, and she is the president of our Booster Club. And she will give us an insight of how that experience has been. She also has a son that is going to graduate and graduate and, and move on to college. Two other sons that have already graduated. And uh, it's gonna, I would like to see that perspective as well on how she has related not only with, with uh, students, but more with parents' involvement. involvement. And then to my left, I have Vanessa Quinones, which is our admissions director. So daily, she has tours where she welcomes families. They will tour the facility, talk about the program, academics, and, and all that. So it's good to have you both, both of you here today, ladies. And I want to start um, with, a, with a question that I will ask both of you. Um, and as I mentioned, both of you have had, and Vanessa, you, you have a, a, a child there right now, a boy. Mm -hmm. What has been up to now your overall experience of having your sons in a Christian school, in a Christian environment? Um, Isela. Thank you, Pastor. Um, thank you for having me, by the way. Um, you know, Pastor, um, my, my prayer to the Lord when my kids were school ready um, was that he um, puts them, that he guides me where, they, where I needed to put them. And he led me to Emmanuel Christian School. And um, it's, it's, it's always been one of our prayers, parents, to whatever we are taught in church and at home, that it, it overflow into their education. And so um, that was one of our major things. We wanted them to be Christ taught mm -hmm. in all academics, in sports, in every area. And I believe that's what Imana Christian School has done for us. And I, and I do believe that, you know, where God places you, you flourish. Mm -hmm. And my three boys have flourished. And, and I praise God for that. And Imana School has played a very big part in that. Oh, that's good to hear. How about you, you Vanessa? What's been your, your experience up to now? So my son has been at Emmanuel for the last 12 years. And my husband and I had searched for a school that, we could put him in that was Christian and in alignment with our beliefs at home. We wanted it to be a partnership. And um, when we visited Emmanuel, we were just very impressed with um, the academics and how well this, the students leave um, with that spiritual foundation. Um, so in my personal experience with my son, it has been amazing. He's not only grown spiritually, but he's also grown academ academically. And I've seen God's hand in his life, and um, he couldn't be anywhere better. Well, good. Um, when, when he first started school, were you working there already? I was not yeah, working you there. You never thought that you'd be there as a, I as never a director thought, of admissions, right? I, exactly, yes. Yeah. And and God just has been so faithful and opened up those mm -hmm. doors for me. Mm -hmm. um, so I have that experience when I'm speaking to new families that, hey, I was a parent at this school before right. I ever worked That's right. here. That's right. So, um, yeah, it's just amazing. We can make plans, but right. God has That's the right. ultimate say. And, and I'm sure Isela also never thought she'd be, you know, so busy and as yeah. a volunteer <laughs> for the Booster Club, so busy, like, wow. Yeah. Right. I mean, a it's lot like of a, hours. It's like a part-time, well, right. sometimes full-time job. I yeah. understand. <laughs> I understand. Um, so back to Vanessa. Now, more specifically, Vanessa, in your role at the school as admissions director, mm -hmm. what have you seen as some of the reasons parents are putting their children at the Christian school? Uh, parents are looking for a Christian worldview, okay? They, they want to get away from, from what is being taught in the public schools. They want their children's walk with God to be nurtured and fostered. Um, they're wanting their children's morals, their integrity to be built upon God's foundation. So that is a lot of what parents, when they come to our school, they're wanting that. They're wanting educators that are believers, that are Christian, that are in alignment with God's mm -hmm. word. And I see that, especially what's, what we're facing out there, what we see in the news, 
sometimes it's kind of um, heartbreaking mm -hmm. and disappointing when we do see the news of what's happening out there, right. especially when it comes to our country, um, our people, mm -hmm. and how it's affecting our families. Um, so yes, definitely right. when we when we continue what we teach at home mm -hmm. and it continues into the school because teachers, our teachers and our coaches spend so much time with our kids. Mm -hmm. And it's important that they are of good example, that they have the same Christian values that, that mm -hmm. we have. Um, a Christian worldview is definitely important. And we've been talking about this as, as we, we, we base it on, on scripture. For example, in Ephesians, it says, parents, don't be hard on your children, raise them properly. Teach them and instruct them about the Lord. But then when we go back to Proverbs, it says, if you correct your children, they will bring you peace and happiness. Mm -hmm. And of course, Psalms 94, 12, our Lord, you bless everyone that you instruct and teach by using your, your law. Mm -hmm. So we do our best to teach them what scripture says. Exactly. I know, and that is so important because we understand that that scripture is inerrant, infallible. Mm -hmm. That's what we trust. That's our basis. That's our faith. That it's God's word mm -hmm. to us. Mm -hmm. um, so Christian worldview is definitely a priority. So let me ask you, Sela, as a parent that is um, involved, has been so involved in our booster club, which is, <clears throat> and explain a little bit what the booster club does and how does that relate in our involvement with the parents, with the families in the school. Um, how does that set it apart from other schools? Um, you know, um, it's family. You know, you have kids that start, students that start from sometimes two, three-year-olds mm -hmm. all the way till they graduate. And it's, they grow up there. So it's, it is a, a family-based school because you have, in, in, in regular public schools, I mean, at least when I was there, um, you would, you know, go to your elementary, then you would transfer to middle school and then a high school, and some kids, you know, moved on and moved out or moved areas. But these kids stay together, and the families stay together. So families are formed into a huge family. And I'm going to say from administration all the way down to even our precious janitorial, ser you know, servers, they're... We, we become families. Which was mm -hmm. which one was here yesterday? <clears throat> I mean, last week we uh, I was able to interview um, Mr. Delgado. So yes, different and, perspective. And, Continue. And yes, and and you know you you become you get to know and you get to know their kids because sometimes their kids go to school mm -hmm. and it just becomes such mm -hmm. a big family and it's a lifetime family. Mm -hmm. You know, I know that my older boy still communicates with some of his high school friends and Paul as well. And the beautiful thing about this is that they could call each other and say, hey, um, I need prayer. Mm -hmm. Some of them have chosen different lifestyles, some, but they still know where that friendship that's is. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what's built in, 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 at, at a Christian-based school. Mm -hmm. um, that is the foundation. of. Uh, it's, like a, it's like the body of Christ, the church. Right. Mm -hmm. well, you know, what he wants, what he, his church to build up one another. And I think that's what it does in this environment. And that is true because um, <clears throat> never, like, you never expected to work there, Vanessa. You mm -hmm. never expected to be the president of the booster club that is so busy. <laughs> yes. And we had an awesome, awesome um, athletics banquet on, on Saturday where we, the purpose was to thank our students, honor them for their achievements, but bottom line is to glorify God. Man. That we are able not only to to teach the kids, mm -hmm. reach them in those years that they that they are there, that we are at least able to plant that seed, mm -hmm. yes. as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. yes. um, because yes, many of them comes a certain time where they have to make some choices on their own yes. when they go to college. You know, yes. and we know that is a difficult time mm -hmm. yes. where we can either go left or right, and what we're seeing out there now, it's there's a lot of left. Um, but anyway, it's important that they understand and that they have that seed in their heart mm -hmm. and that they have, not religion, that relationship that they know someone is with me all the time. Mm -hmm. My right. parents might, might not be my family and so my friends that I grew up with, mm -hmm. but that 
God is with them all the time. Um, so I appreciate um, <clears throat> both of you for, for, for sharing that part in your area as well of how has that been in, important, especially what we're facing out there. But let me ask you again, uh, ladies, in the future, not only of our country, of our society, of our families, what do you see the impact of Christian education, of course, that starts at home, mm -hmm. and how does it relate to the issues we face right now in society? Even though, while well, we could go almost through so many issues, we'd be here for hours. Yeah, right. But <clears throat> of what we're seeing, how do, you, how do you think Christian education can impact families in our society? Vanessa. Well, I always go back to um, John 17, 16. You know, we are in the world, but we are not mm. of the world. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, going back to my son, there's, I, I had this conversation with him yesterday. Um, there's going to be moments in your life where I'm not going to be there to to help you, to guide you. I mean, I'm always going to be there, but you're going to have to make decisions for yourself. But those decisions have to be based on this foundation that we are laying out for you as a family and through partnership with Emmanuel Christian School. So my hopes are that everything that has been planted inside of him, that he'll remember and he'll use it to help navigate through situations, through real world problems, through trials in his life, that he's gonna remember God's word, those Bible verses that he had to memorize in elementary school, um, that that foundation is so strong that he's able to navigate through all of that and everything that society um, portrays as being right, right. Mm -hmm. that he remembers I'm in this world, but I am not of the world. That's right. And, and I like the word you use, navigate. Um, <clears throat> some time ago, um, I heard a pastor talking about, kind of relating, God is our GPS, mm -hmm. our direction, the mm -hmm. one that navigates us yeah. through, through life. But in order for the GPS to work, you need to turn it on. Yeah. And at times we fail to do that. Mm -hmm. We fail to seek him in, in those ways. And that's why we're seeing, you know, because it is, we have that opportunity to, to, to plant that seed in their lives. But then there comes a time where they make some important choices. Mm -hmm. And we just pray that those choices are done in God's eyes, not to impress anybody else, Amen. not to have certain things. No, it, it is for us to be righteous in God's eyes. Mm -hmm. And um, I know we made a lot of those decisions at a certain age, many mm -hmm. not good, mm -hmm. but we learn from that as well. Yes. Right. We, it makes us stronger. Not yes. that even, even now, we are still imperfect people. We are still needing that GPS. We still need God's guidance in our lives. Mm -hmm. And also, um, let, me, let me add this question. Also, for the both of you, I know when you started Isela and, and you looked at the school and Vanessa's <laughs> parents come and, and are inquiring about the school and they see the building, but the building is also secure. And when I say secure, mm -hmm. security, um, yes. certain entrances. We have a, a, a policeman there every single day, cameras, all that, a gate in the back, all that is important. The academics, definitely important. Mm -hmm. Christian worldview, no matter what is taught. But for both of you, how important has it been that the teachers are in teaching your kids not only the core subjects, but also being a, an example and a good teacher in biblical ways? What do you think, Isena? Um Well, I'll, I'll start off with the, your first part of your question. Mm -hmm. um, I believe a lot of people, especially we, I think we all can agree that we're living in biblical revelation mm -hmm. and time days. I think we all know where we're living in it, and it's, and as a church, as a as a body of Christ, as a as your personal savior and your your relationship with the Lord, you see things, and the Lord is showing us His, His, um, His signs. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of parents are looking for that safety for their children, 
And, and because, you know, you said that building safe and everything, yes, that's what they're looking for. And I think they're gearing towards that when it comes to Christian education, the safety of their children. And then, of course, what is being taught. Um, like you said, nothing against public education, but here you have the opportunity from science to history, mm -hmm. God's word is incorporated in there. Yep, that's right. And so it, they're being taught the foundations of our fathers mm -hmm. from, you know, day one of about America. But, you know, unfortunately the school system leaves the main part of why we came to this world, mm -hmm. why people came to America. And, and all that is being taught in our school. And um, <clears throat> I, I also feel that um, parents are looking for that safety, like we said, um, and the comfort of their kids being able to learn and be ready for college. And having two children that graduated already and went through college, and mm -hmm. um, one of them already finished, he's working, the other one's in grad school now. One of the experiences that they confronted was, mom, when I started school and college, it felt like I was still in, at Emmanuel. Mm -hmm. The basis of study ethics, right. English, right. writing your paper mm -hmm. was, he says, mom, it was not a huge change. Yeah. And, and, and my middle son even had a, had a professor say, I know which one of you, which ones are from private schools because your, your grammar, your, your, right. the way you express mm -hmm. yourself is so solid compared to, unfortunately, some of the other students. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what the parents are going to be looking for. Mm -hmm. And of course, like mm -hmm. Vanessa said, you know, your, your, your navigation. And I believe that's the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has, that's what he's sent for. Mm -hmm. You know, God sent us the Holy Spirit for, for our navigation. Mm -hmm. And they learn all that with their academics and, 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 and their Bible foundation at a Christian school. And it's important, as you mentioned, because in in that choice, when the parents make that choice, mm -hmm. I mean, they they ask questions because they want to make sure that 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 their decision is the correct one, mm -hmm. that it will meet their needs academically, yes. Yes. and many spiritually. Not not all of them have that priority, but mm -hmm. that's part of our mission as as a school. And of course, financially, which is a sacrifice, we know that, mm -hmm. but it is probably one of the best investments that I've done. We yeah. see that now yes. as um, we've had some that have graduated. Mm -hmm. And yes, the academics there are challenging. Yes. It is. Yes. Um, my daughter is also taking the college credit courses, which is a big plus, mm -hmm. but I do see that they spend a lot of time doing homework. Mm -hmm. And at times as parents, I know we like to see that. But for them also, the sports was so important. That gets them involved. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so how has that been for you, Vanessa, in, in the teacher impact that you've seen at the school, in the size of classes, in mm -hmm. their relationship with students? So I feel at Emmanuel, okay, so we want to... We want a well-rounded student, okay? And, and we're going to get well-rounded students through, through God, through godly teachers. When you think about it, our kids are in school for eight hours of their day, okay? So that's more time with teachers and staff at a school than with their parents during mm -hmm. the day. Mm -hmm. So as a parent and as the admissions director, I always share how important it is for my child to be at a school where their teachers are believers. And if my son is having a bad day or if another student is having a bad day, they can go to that teacher. And I know that that teacher is going to pray for them mm -hmm. and give them advice that's founded and based on God's word. Yes. And to the audience as, as well, we're, we're also not trying to portray the school as, oh, it is perfect, it is this, not at all. We face many of the same issues that public schools face. Mm -hmm. um, I've been there 25 years, and believe me, I've seen everything. <laughs> and not only from kids, from students, from teachers, from parents. Yeah. And sometimes it shocks you, like, <gasps> And it's like church, right? 
<laughs> oh, you work at church, you're a pastor. Oh, and, and they think we're walking uh, on air every day and, and just everything's lovely, but they don't sometimes realize the difficulties behind that. Mm -hmm. It's not always beautiful and pretty. There's some dark times. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I like how both of you answered that it is about understanding that the teachers there care mm -hmm. yes. and that's huge mm -hmm. yes. that we know that those teachers care if yes. there's something they will take time to speak to the student to encourage yes. the student to pray with the student and i think that i see that from as you mentioned mm -hmm. from our custodial work mm -hmm. that work together so great to our ladies in the kitchen that Yes. It helps if they smile, that the food is good. I mean, so many things that, that we see also in, mm -hmm. in public schools that maybe some things might not click. And yes, we have our issues, but we trust in God. Amen. And like you said, Isela, every day seeking the Holy Spirit for direction, Amen. for God's will. Uh, with these five minutes that we have, let me ask you this final question. Um, Isela, how would you encourage parents, or in this case at our school, many grandparents, in investing in their child's education that helps them academically, as we said, it, it is challenging, it is top notch, but also in a spiritual manner. How would you encourage parents that are watching or grandparents about investing in their, in their, in their loved ones? You know, I've always asked of myself, my why? Why Christian education? And It'll go back to what I said at the beginning. I want that foundation to be strong for my children. What we learn at church, what we, what we learn at home, and what we learn in school. And the why is big because that is, you know, we forget we want sports, we want good academics. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says, seek ye first. I always go back to what the Lord showed me. Seek ye first, Matthew 6, 33. Mm -hmm. His kingdom and all his righteousness. And there's a promise that follows that. Mm -hmm. All these things will be added unto you. That means he will be directed to the right college. He mm -hmm. will be directed to where he needs to go where the Lord has for him. That's right. Uh, Vanessa, um, how would you encourage parents or grandparents? I would encourage them by, um, you know, it, it is a sacrifice. It, mm -hmm. it, it's, a, it's a commitment to have your child at a private school, right. a private Christian school. But those seeds that are planted are planted for generations. Amen. So, you know, you're, you're raising a child in God's word and it's, your, it's that legacy that they're gonna carry and generations to come are gonna carry. They're gonna have children and their children are gonna have children that are believers and founded in God's mm -hmm. word. I, you know, you can plant a seed and we, you won't see a tree for a hundred years. That's right. But God waters it. That's Amen. right. Nurtures it. That's Amen. right. Um, I know that, uh, Vanessa, you still have several years until your son graduates. Um, Isela, um, her youngest son, graduates um, this year and will be going on to Baylor. Yes. Um, and we've had students go on to so many different schools and pretty much every single student continues in college and I love that. Yes. Um, and that there's some that have gone to Purdue, MIT, there's doctors already that I still keep up with as now a doctor, how does a student, now a doctor <laughs> or a student, now an engineer, yes. a student, now a lawyer, whatever it takes. Yes. Um, but also as as your last one graduates, um, I'm sure there'll be times where you say, I miss the involvement. I miss the family, <laughs> um, but the good thing is I know you will be there for, for our, um, our, our trailer thing. The tailgate. The tailgate. Okay. I'm, I'm, the just, tailgate. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. No. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you for both for for thank sharing you, from Pastor. your heart and thank your experience. You for having us. Once more, um, it's it's an investment. But we are investing in something that we know is heavenly. Amen. That is beyond anything that we could give our, our kids. And that's mm -hmm. bringing them up in the word of God. Um, so thank you, audience, for joining us today. We hope you have a, a wonderful Memorial Day as we 
we remember those that have um, sacrificed much for the freedoms that we now share, but also a daily understanding that the greatest sacrifice of all is the one that Jesus made for us on the cross, Amen. something we, mem we remember daily. Thank you, and may God bless you. Goodbye. <laughs>